Hey, so today I wanted to talk about this interesting knife. It's a um, really interesting knife. It's different from a lot of um, modern knives because it's a um, traditional Sicilian Razzolino knife. And that's what it says on the blade here, Razzolino. It's, um, it, it's sold under Viper brand. And I think there's a bunch of companies who actually make um, uh, those knives under a Viper brand. There's, um, that's how it's called in the, um, on the box. It's Viper, Catelli Regionale d'Italia. Um, and then Silvestrelli is a designer, I think. And then Technocat is the... Uh, one of the companies who makes that and then Maniago is another company who probably owns the, those brands um, yeah so that's what it is it's a regional um, Italian knife it is from Sicily as I said I mean the design is from Sicily and um, it's, uh, it's done in actually mainland um, uh, Italy uh, on the north. I'm not sure of particular location, but uh, I, I, you can find it out. Um, I wanted to talk about the regional uh, Sicilian knives with this video together with this knife, um, focusing on the uh, shopping experience as I should on my channel. So I've been to Sicily for two weeks on a vacation um, with my family. Uh, I've been to Italy before, I have some Italian knives already and of course I wanted to go and buy uh, Sicilian specific knives. So I did some research uh, before that, uh, before going there, I knew that this Rosalina design exists. I knew that there's um, Italian, or uh, Sicilian fighting knife design exists, which should look like a lot like um, your Stiletta, but would have a different shape of uh, uh, rear pommel or bolster, um, not symmetrical one, just like the one, the curved one. Um, may have, um, may be automatic, may be manual, just a slip joint, may or may not have um, those kind of finger, it's not even a finger guards, I think it's more uh, of the uh, design elements, uh, but helps hold the knife the proper way for fighting, for stabbing people. So that's the main purpose of those knives. But again, this is the typical uh, stiletta. I was not able to find and buy the Sicilian version of that uh, uh, knife. What I was able to find is this style of Sicilian original knife made by Del Fiero. Similar marks here, and um, again, the um, uh, the overall shopping experience or in Sicily it itself. I was in Palermo area. There's probably like three uh, stores which called Armories, which sell knives, hunting stuff, uh, airsoft, um, I don't know, camo stuff, military surplus stuff. Not that much. Uh, I've been to two of those uh, stores probably out of three. The small one, small ones have very limited selection of knives. Those are the only two uh, which I was able to get. Nope, sorry, not this one. This one, uh, same same manufacturer, Del Fiero, but this one is traditional Sicilian knife. Uh, I think it's, again, it's a very simple representation of the uh, folding knife, slip joint, of course. Um, utility knife but it resembles um, more pointing more stabbing friendly um, tip of a blade <laughs> even like this one because a lot of uh, those traditional uh, slip joint knife knives they will not be that pointy some of them will be but a lot of them would be less pointy so but this one is sicilian it has one bolster slip joint olive wood handles uh, four 10 steel, not even for 20, I think. Um, inox means that it's not, uh, it's a stainless steel. Similar thing here, there's no back marks, but same, same manufacturer. There's another traditional um, Sicilian knife, which is more like a peasant's knife for uh, simple 
um, slicing and cutting jobs. It has uh, kind of like a chisel ground, only one on one side and then the bevel. Here it has an extra uh, sharpened portion in the middle of that heel here. So when the knife is closed, you still can do some uh, like a minor uh, slicing in pieces, uh, even when it's closed. Um, so both of those knives, uh, they both were around 20 something euros uh, when I bought them and they, to be honest, they're not that good of a quality. They're pretty bad quality, I should say. Plastic handles, no good finish. Uh, most likely it's a small batch production, even for the factory, which makes them probably uh, tools are just... Uh, I don't know, controlled by people, and and again, the result is just a very, very basic quality of those knives. You see all the gaps, you see it's not really, really straight. Um, finishes, like, not that good. But again, for 20 euros, it's, it's again, even 20 euros is too much. Like 20 something, it's too much for those. You want a good knife for less than 20 euros, go buy Opinel. Something like that, go buy simple Swiss Army knife, the cheapest one, it will be better. Uh, so those ones, they are sold as traditional ones, probably people buy them, probably uh, some people buy them as a souvenirs, but again, I think uh, even, even those ones uh, as a souvenirs available in like a nice blister package. Um, so I, I, still, I still got them. I was looking for something more, um, better quality, and I wanted to go to east like east side of uh, Sicily to Catania where actually this design originates from but I had no chance to go there unfortunately so on the way back uh, when I was in Rome I stopped by another knife shop um, it's not even like a knife shop it's not Armaria Armory, <laughs> Armory anymore. It is really like a knife and cutlery shop. This is the place where I got it. It's a big, a small um, knife shop, uh, which also does like sharpening, keys. Um, not too far from um, uh, Coliseum in Rome. Um, has better selection of knives, Italian made, made knives as well. Uh, even for that small shop um, by itself. So I got this knife over there. It was uh, a little bit over 100 euros, which is a lot of money for the knife, which is that simple, um, in fact. But what I can say, the um, this knife is actually done really, really well. And I think it deserves to be a collectible item. Uh, by many reasons, and I'll focus on those uh, specific areas which I do like about this knife. So, first of all, um, it is specific um, series of knives, different knives, which they do for different um, Italian uh, regions, um, like honoring the traditional designs of those knives in the different regions and the um, made in Maniaga. That's where it's made. <laughs> um, in, in Italy. So, my Italian is really bad. I cannot translate it. I can barely understand what it says here. So, this is the package. Really, really nice package. You, you can see it, it, it has a map of Italy. It has um, Italia. It has all the different um, regions here. So, I've been only to Sicily. Rome and north of it, Italy, which is close to uh, Nice and Cannes area, so still gotta do a lot of more, a lot more shopping, a lot more knife collecting for those uh, regions if I have a chance. So again, this brand has uh, more options now. I know it now. I can even search online if I uh, would want it. But this one, I wanted to be something Sicilian specific and uh, that's the one which I got and again I don't regret it. it's a really really nice quality knife. Also comes with um, this type of uh, little kind of seed pouch which is good quality but really do you really need it for the knife? Are you gonna carry it in that? It's kind of generic pouch you can fit anything you want in there. It's too big for the knife. I don't know. Um, so, back to the knife itself, um, 
let's take a look. First of all, this is the brand. Uh, Rosalina is the name of a knife. Viper is a brand under which one they make a lot of different knives, not only traditional ones, made in Italy and are in there. To be honest, too much branding on, on the blade. It could be all done um, way, way smaller and nicer. This one also comes with the designer mark. That's the uh, Silvestrelli. Is a designer who designed this knife as per traditional uh, Rosalina canvas, right? So that's his mark. On the other side, you see that it says Maniago quality. Uh, as we know, also with the <laughs> registered trademark, and uh, that's a number, uh, 41 out of 1000, so it is a limited edition knife. So, um, the um, handle is wood, dark wood, circot wood, I think. Uh, you can also get it as an olive wood and probably horn, but um, I like this dark wood way better than on, on this specific knife, because I know sometimes the olive wood may look cheaper, kind of comparing to a nicer, darker walnut or uh, ebony or any type of nice textured wood so uh, also as you see there's um, metal liners in there inside the handle so um, they, the handle goes on top of them so that that's why it's nice the, it feels light you don't see the metal uh, but it is um, metal there and it's uh, it's tougher it's so it's it's good uh, those you have um, screws on both sides so you, it means that you can disassemble the knife you have um, uh, those barrel spacers and they have a stop pin and here you see the uh, blade goes into the stop pin also um, it hits the stop pin when it's closed preventing from the blade from touching those uh, spacers jimping here um, so uh, as I said I don't like this this much information on the blade on all those brands I don't really care um, about the Viper I care about Rosalina don't care about the Viper it doesn't say the steel type in here. This my this, it comes also with this certificate of authenticity. It's Rosalina. It's number forty one out of thousand. Great. Same pitch here. That's fine. I found online it's um, stainless steel uh, one dot forty one sixteen. So it's not really super steel. I wish it would be really like a super modern good steel then. It would be so good to see like a traditional design implemented in a modern way. But what is really cool about this knife, what is done really um, modern way, is this uh, mechanical detent feature inside the pivot here. So it's supposed to be like a slip joint. It feels like a slip joint. So you need to have some do some force to break this detent when you when the knife is opened. If you want to close it, and again, it it doesn't. I mean, it's. There's a nice, nice friction in there, so it wouldn't. Uh, there's no spring which tries to push this knife close, so it doesn't. It, it means that you will not, if you're closing this one hand, it will stop. It will not go and cut your uh, <laughs> fingers when you close it. But this detent starts working only all the way back, all the way down. The, when I close it, all the way, almost like in the close position. See, it's not yet. The spring doesn't work yet. But now, boom. It's working and holding the blade closed. It does touch the stop pin, so it wouldn't go uh, wouldn't go any further. And it's really solid the lock, and it wouldn't open. I can't open. It. I mean, I, I can open it one-handed like this, but it wouldn't just open by itself. You see, there's a yeah, there's a kind of a detent which holds it, uh, but it feels like a slip joint. I can open it as soon as I almost done opening this. You'll see that it's gonna click. No, nope. now it's open and holds it in place. I can work with the knife, so I can cut it. There's a jimping here, and again, close it. There's like a tiny click here when I close it. Yeah, but a very nice, very nice implementation of the um, uh, slip joint type of uh, feel into the more modern uh, design with the proper stop pin. 
So that's what I like about this knife. And again, it looks like a razor because it has this history of uh, design. They designed this knife uh, in uh, Sicily in probably uh, mid uh, 1800s um, because there was a ban to uh, have uh, those stilettos and uh, nice piercing knives, uh, ban to carry those knives. So people would still need to use a knife for uh, utility work, for uh, self-defense or even for uh, fighting, but they would, they would carry uh, razors, uh, shaving razors, but of course, as you know, shaving razor, that's a difference. You cannot um, hold it open like this. There's no stop. Uh, there's, uh, um, this thing here would not let you securely uh, use and carry, well, not carry, use this um, razor as a blade. That's why probably the variant of that um, design blade uh, Razor design made it into the blade uh, and into the overall construction of the knife, which looks like a, a shaving razor. But it's knife. It's knife. And again, this is a uh, razor style blade. It's not a sheep foot. It's not a cleaver. It's closer to cleaver, but it's not a sheep foot. Like this is a sheep foot, like traditional from Spain. And even the other one is kind of like a sheep foot's blade but this one's not it's a real like a razor style design and which i like a lot so um as i said it's gonna go into my collection it's gonna sit on a shelf as a reminder of um, sicily for me as a reminder of uh, my vacation over there uh, unfortunately it's not produced in sicily it's produced um, by uh, some other company which is okay if they have a good quality, if they have a good design here, they still keep the traditions. Yeah, it is good uh, enough. What I can do as an advice for the manufacturers and probably just my wishes, like just few the few of those things. First of all, uh, yeah, too much of the branding or uh, like uh, billboarding on the um, blade itself. If it's a traditional, it should be more stylish. Get rid of that, put Rosalina somewhere here along the side of a blade, maybe a little bit here of that information, who's done that and so on. Not on the blade, make it classic, make it more classy. Those uh, small trademarks, good. I like those, especially if it's a designer mark, it's good. Second thing which I wish it would do, um, maybe it is possible to make also modern one hand opening designs of the same type of style because it's an open construction open back construction you can do a lot of stuff you can do a flipper like this it's an open back flipper knife uh, there's a lot of them it's a frame lock yep just make it as a flipper with this type of style style of blade why not or make it as a front flipper Especially if you already have this portion of the back of a blade with the jimping, just make it protruding a little bit more here so I can do the, like a front flip here or even like a slow opening. doesn't have to be uh, a lock or detent. It would look as a razor even more and it will be way, way easier to open it one hand. You see it's like kind of struggling in here. There's no nail nick, but there's a lot of blade um, but in here, which I can take on. And if, also, as you've seen, that's the profile of the blade. Uh, if you look at this from a, from a top. And again, your branding billboarding doesn't completely disappear when it's closed. It's always like... Uh, front flipper if you don't know what it is you can flick it you can just open it slowly but that's the, that's the idea i think the front front flipper would be even better on this knife rather than the regular flipper and the other thing which i wish it would be uh, true is that this type of knife maybe not with this premium materials <laughs> I should say premium wood. A little bit, make it a little bit simple. Don't make it as a limited edition. Make it more affordable. Promote it as the uh, traditional Sicilian knife design. 
and sell it everywhere. Sell it in all of those uh, armories, sell it in your uh, souvenir shop for tourists. So people would know it, so people would buy it, and uh, so people would love it. I mean, it's a really, really nice design, not that scary, just with a convenient handle, not to be too big of a knife, not too small of a knife, you see, you know, like a medium hands, um, and it's very, very convenient, nice handle, nice design. So if I want to cut it, if I want to cut it, like, on the... Uh, uh, on a plate, on a, on, on a board, it has that portion of a blade which will allow me to do any type of cuts if I want to cut like this. So anyway, if someone would want to have in the pocket traditional Sicilian knife, Rosalina style, this one's too much. Over a hundred dollars, uh, okay, yeah, there are more expensive knives, people carry them, but again, your traditional should be way, way more affordable and easily replaceable. Uh, with the same type of knife in case something happens to that or it get lost and so on. So they should be everywhere in Sicily. Sicily. That's my uh, final comment on this video. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. I hope it was interesting. As I said, that will be one of the first proper uh, shopping experience uh, it, uh, videos on my channel. I will do more. I have a lot of those uh, traditional uh, typical knives from different regions you've seen this one in this video that's from Spain uh, because I was comparing it to this one from uh, Sicily as well this one's from Sicily as well uh, one more time um, Italy yeah this one's for comparison let me know what it is this is for just I wanted to compare the uh, this knife to this knife because this one has similar type of like a protruding end on the blade but it's not a, like a razor but it's not a razor it's a friction folder it goes into the handle and then you hold it like this it, it makes it a knife not a razor this knife would probably not look good as a, a friction folder keep it like this or make it a front flipper like this that's your front flipper or make it regular flipper like this. Anyway, a uh, small uh, example of uh, regional knife shopping. And as I said, that's Rosalina, made in Italy by uh, Viper Knives in Maniago, as we learned today. Thanks for watching and uh, uh, look out for more videos. Bye.